up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then welcome. My name is Lynette and I post a lot of fitness and lifestyle and food stuff. Oh and cats. Can't forget the cats. That's about it. Today's video is going to be me showing you guys a cheap home cooked alternative to like a chipotle rice bowl. Admittedly I have only been to chipotle a handful of times. One because for the longest time they never had any by me. And two, they expensive. I don't mind spending money on like nice clothes and pretty much anything else in my life but I struggle to spend a lot of money on food. Especially now that I know how to cook a lot more. I can I just can't justify spending money out on food so we just don't do it very often. But I know that chipotle is like super super popular as like a food choice for most individuals and and I know that we're all blowing our bank accounts on these rice bowls from Chipotle. I've never had one, I don't think. And whenever I go to Chipotle, I get tacos. Is this wrong? Am I doing something wrong? I don't know. But today, I'm going to make a cheap and lower calorie, lower carb, probably lower fat alternative to the Chipotle rice bowl situation. Is it called a rice bowl? Am I like butchering this? I honestly don't know. Anyway, so this video is actually a collaboration with my friend Ebeth Fielder. I have known Ebeth since I was literally like five years old. She and I went to the same church when we were kids. Ebeth has had kind of a busy life like moving around a lot because her parents were in ministry all throughout like our childhood. But we did reconnect about six or seven years ago when I briefly lived in Texas to go to ministry school. I actually lived with Ebeth for about a year in a cute little house in Round Rock, Texas. Ebeth is one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. She is the life of a party, no matter what. I feel like Ebeth has just been a confident, happy, joyful person for as long as I've known her. And I feel like the time that I spent living in her house, kind of watching her be her, definitely encouraged me to like be confident in being myself and be okay with like being out there and being kind of weird and whatever. Not that I'm calling you weird, Ebeth. But yeah, I feel like if you even go to her channel, you'll even see some of my mannerisms that I know I've picked up from just like being her friend over the years, except she's like way better. <laughs> so yes, go over to her channel, check out what she's making. She's also making an affordable meal for under $10, which I also believe has like somewhat of a Mexican theme. The girl lives in Texas, so I mean, I think it would be wrong for her to do anything other than Mexican. Plus Mexican food is the best food anyway, because nachos, hello. And yes, let's just hop right into this rice bowl situation. All right, so for this recipe, I I'm loosely following something that I found on Pinterest, mostly because the picture was really pretty. I mean, that looks good. But basically what I'm making is a bowl that's going to have a rice component, and on top of that it's going to have some shredded taco seasoned chicken, some corn, some black beans, probably some onions, probably some cheese, some sour cream, and an avocado. Oh, and some jalapeno. Now instead of rice, I'm actually doing cauliflower rice, which is just like riced cauliflower. It has a very similar texture to rice, but it's just way lower in calories and carbs. And so to cook that so that it tastes better than just normal cauliflower, I'm gonna be cooking it in some coconut oil and seasoning it with some lime and I think garlic salt and chipotle seasoning. So we're gonna see how this turns out. This is actually not really even close to the recipe at all. I'm kind of just like making things up as I go but yeah we're gonna see how it turns out. All right so I'm getting a pan hot to cook this uh riced cauliflower but I'm gonna steam it in the bag first in the microwave and then just kind of like crisp it up a little bit on the stove top with the coconut oil and stuff like that so hopefully this works. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We're gonna find out. All right, while I'm waiting for the cauliflower to microwave, I will show you guys what I've done kind of in preparation for this meal. So for starters, I actually started the shredded chicken in the crock pot this morning at like 7.30 in the morning. I just put one chicken breast in there with some salsa and some taco seasoning and just let it sit for about six hours on low heat. You guys know that I love my crock pot and we've been making a ton of shredded taco seasoned chicken lately with like a little bit of salsa to make it super spicy. And it's so good. So yes, I have about four ounces of that put to the side for this meal. And I also drained, drained the corn that I'm going to use and the black beans that I'm going to use. Yes, I'm using canned corn and canned beans because it's cheaper and saves me a lot of time from having to like cook this stuff to get it to the consistency that I want. But I did get organic, so that's good, right? All right, so I have that cooking with just the two spices and the coconut oil right now. I think I'm gonna wait towards the end of it cooking to add a little bit of like lime citrus juice. I bought fresh limes just for this. Never used lime in cooking before. I have a good feeling though.
All right, we have my rice in the bowl, my fake rice. Now we just have to assemble everything else because everything else just has to be chopped and placed in the bowl. So let's do this. Oh snap! Look at it! I'm so excited to eat this. Does that not look good? If that doesn't look good, you're a war criminal. Just kidding. Always afraid I'm gonna offend the sensitive people who watch my videos. But for real, this looks so good! I'm gonna go eat it now, and I'm gonna tell you how good it is, and then I'm gonna calculate the cost of this meal. All right, so I'm mixing everything together. That's what you do, right? Like, I wouldn't know I don't really eat these, but I definitely will say I could have gone a little heavier on the cauliflower rice. I just went light for some reason. Although maybe I'll change my mind once I've like had a bite of this. Gonna squeeze a little lime juice on there. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm, it's really good. I get why everybody goes to Chipotle. This is really freaking delicious. And so much food, it's so much food. For those of you who count your calories or your macros, the macros for this meal was 12 grams of fat, 42 grams of carbs, and 39 grams of protein, and around 440 calories. Not bad. For all of this food, what am I even gonna do with it all? I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. All right, now that I'm done with that extremely delicious meal, let's talk prices. Now let's add these all up. $4.20. That was the cost of that whole dish. How much do y'all pay for it at Chipotle? Be honest, how much? I'm gonna just Google it. $6.50. Thought it was gonna be a lot more than that. Wait though, you know what? Guacamole is extra. It's extra. Y'all don't play no games with no Chipotle. Make your own Chipotle. Paying $2 extra for guac? Nah. But all right, so $4.20 is the cost of this meal, which is well under $10, which was the limit that Ebeth and I imposed for this little challenge. So I can say challenge accepted and challenge accomplished. And delicious, that was a delicious challenge. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Look at me, I'm doing like a proper outro instead of just mumbling and bumbling through awkward words. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. A reminder again to go check out Ebeth's video on her channel. Subscribe over there. I promise you that you'll be entertained if you do. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!